Hi everyone, this is Anna from One Timeless Love, and I'm here to show you how I got this double cut crease look. I added some glitter, added some dots, but let's go ahead and get into it. I've already primed my eyes with the P. Louise Base Rumor 2, and my brows are done with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. I like to first go in with the tape. I put it on my hand first, and then I put it on my eyes just so I don't rip out my eyes. The palette we're going to go in today is called Travel with Rainbow. This was gifted to me, but you can get it at Amazon. I will leave the link in the description box. I'm going to first go in with this red shade and taking my trusty Sigma E65, this is the angle brush, and I'm going to use it to carve out my crease. And then I'm going to switch over to my pencil brush to pack on the red shade and to use it to blend it out. And then I'm going to take another pencil brush and pick up this vibrant orange shade and place it right above the red shadow. I'm going back into the red eyeshadow to intensify the crease. And then I'm picking up a clean Morphe E36 brush to blend out the orange even more and make it look seamless. And now I'm taking a pointed Q-tip and some micellar water to clean up the lid. To cut the first crease, I'm going to use a craft store detail brush and Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the color Light Medium Honey and to slowly cut the crease. We're not going to do the whole lid with this one because we're going to cut the crease again. So this is how far down I gone with my concealer. But now I'm going to set it with the RCMA No Color Powder. To cut the crease for the second time, I'm going to use the P. Louise Base Rumor 2 and the Inglot Brush 22T. Then taking a small brush, I'm going to pick up this purple shade and carefully pat it on top of the P. Louise base. You don't want to just aggressively throw it on there because you want that sharp line to still be there and you don't want to move the P. Louise base into the sharp tape concealer. And now I want to use this blue shade, so I'm going to take another small brush and pat it right below the purple. And now I'm going to pick up another pencil brush and try to blend the two colors together. I did my foundation off camera, but I'm going to pick up this light blue shade and using a flat definer brush and placing it on my bottom lid. Thank you. 
I already have the P. Louise base on the waterline. This is what I usually do when I want the colors to pop because I haven't really found any type of pencils that works well on there. So my usually go-to will be putting the P. Louise on the waterline and then dabbing any color on top. But this time I'm going to use the purple. I don't know why I didn't show you the glitter that I'm using, but the glitter that I'm using today is by NYX Cosmetics. It's a purple one, and I mix it with the glitter adhesive by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I apply it using another detail brush from the craft store and apply it like liner. For my dots, I'm going to use the Inglot Gel Liner number 88, mix it with the Duraline, and taking a dotting tool and just put three dots on there. For the inner corners, I'm going to use the Moonchild Glow Kit by Anastasia in the shade Star, and the brush that I'm going to use is the Morphe E37. Afterwards, I like setting my face with a setting mist, and the one that I'm using is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. And now I'm going to line my eyes using the Inglot Gel Liner number 77. The lashes that I'm using today is by House of Lashes called Iconic. They're one of my favorite lashes and I've used them for so many years, but I don't know why I didn't show you guys of me putting them on. I'm sorry about that. But this is the look, guys. I hope you all like it. Let me know what you think and subscribe, share, like, and comment, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!